Hello everyone, welcome to Apps Tutorials. Today, we are going to dive into a practical lecture of useful tags in HTML. Here is the required output on the browser. We are going to code something which will produce this output on the browser screen. So, let's get started with our editor. Here is a pre-written code for demonstrating some of the useful tags in the HTML. Let's understand each of these lines one by one. In the last lecture, we have already learned that the various useful tags that are used in HTML. Our first tag is the HR tag which stands for horizontal rules. This is an open tag used to insert a line on the web page. You can also use the width attribute to set the width of the line to be displayed on the web page. Next is the address tag. This is a new tag introduced in HTML for declaring the address in a predefined format in HTML. It inserts the address with an italic text format. Our next text tag is block code tag, which is used for inserting the codes. As you will be able to see in the output, it leaves some space in the starting by default. Details and summary tags are the next tags in our list. Summary tag is used to declare the headings while the details tag is used to refer to the detailed description of the headings. The code tag is used for defining piece of computer code in HTML. The content inside is displayed in the monospace font of the browser by default. Superscript and subscript tag is used to declare the superscript and subscript text in the HTML web page respectively. Button tag is used to declare the buttons for the user interactivity such as uploading files, submitting, resetting a form, browsing to next page. Meter and progress tag are used to reflect the completion progress of a task. The progress tag is used to display the progress of a specific task at hand, while meter tag is used for tasks unrelated gauges, such as disk space or memory usage. So, here our code is complete and it's time to see the output. Here is the output of our code on the browser screen. I hope you have enjoyed coding along with me and learned to some of the important HTML tags. In the next video, we will learn coding of list in HTML. Thank you. Click the subscribe button to stay updated with all our recent videos.